Kuzo Zangpo, Bhutan e-learning project welcomes you to this maths lesson for the key stage one, that is for classes PP to three. I am Karma Yangzom and today I'll be taking you through maths lesson on the topic measurement. Before we look at what is measurement, can you all tell me what do we measure in our daily life? Can you all tell me? Good, we measure our things. We measure our height. We measure our weight. We measure our height of the door. Very good. Now, there are so many things that we can measure. Can you name them? Yes, we measure length. We measure weight, weight or mass, and we measure capacity. Good, children. Now, let us look at the objectives first. The first objective that we need to fulfill at the end of this lesson is we should be able to define the terms length, mass and capacity. We should also be able to measure length, mass and capacity using non-standard units and standard units. And at the same time, we should be able to identify the units for measuring length, mass and capacity. To begin with, let us look at this word. Can you all read this for me? Yes. Can you spell out? L-E-N-G-T-H. It is length. What is length? It's a distance. Good. Anything else? It's a size. Good. Well, length is used to identify the size of an object. It, is, it also measures the distance from one end to another end. It also talks about the distance between one place to another place. Now, let's look at the length of this white boat. Look at the white boat. Can you guess? Well, now before we actually look at the actual length, let us look at some non-standard units to measure length. There are many ways to measure length. Firstly, we can measure length using non-standard units and also using standard units. Now, there are many non-standard units. Can you name them? Good. Pencil, book, yes, stick, string. Well done. Now let's measure the length of the white boat using hand span. Hand span means it is the distance between our thumb and the middle finger. Now let's measure it. Look at it carefully. Let us all count together. Okay, children? Here we go. One. Two, three, four, five. Okay, the length of the white boat is five hand spans. Got it? Can you all repeat together? Yes, the length of the white boat is five hand spans. Now, don't just only think that we use only hand span for measuring length. There are other non-standard units also. As I said earlier, we can also measure using string. We can also measure using stick. We can use pencils and many other things. Now, let us measure its actual length using standard units. Can you name what are the standard units now? Yes, there are many standard units too. We can use ruler. We can use a meter stick and we can also use measuring tape. Now, for now, let us look at the length of the white boat using a ruler. Are you all ready, children? Well, the ruler I have is 30 centimeter. We are going to use 30 centimeter ruler to measure the length of this white boat. 
Got it? Okay, let's measure together. One, two, three, four. Okay, so how many times did it go? Yes, we took four times to measure the length of the white boot. So 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 is how much? It is 120 centimeter. If we say centimeter, it is 120 centimeter, which is equal to 1 meter 20 centimeter. Is that clear? Which is equal to 1 meter 20 centimeter. So let us conclude the sentence by saying the length of the white bow is 120 centimeter. 120 centimeter. Okay, look at the length of this pen. Look at the pen. Do you think that this pen will have same centimeter like the white boat? No. It is shorter, so it will measure less. So remember, if the distance is more, the measurement will be more. If the distance is short, the measurement will be less. Is that clear? Good. Now, let me show you some units for measuring length. The units for measuring length are centimeter. Centimeter in the short form we write it as cm. Then we have meter. Meter we write it as m. And we also have another unit called millimeter which is written as mm. So mm m cm are the short forms of writing the units for length and remember children meter m is used for measuring the distance that is from one place to another we normally use meter for measuring longer distance and centimeter which we write it as cm is used for measuring the shorter distance. Now, if you want to measure the eraser on the boat here, we use millimeter, mm. So, millimeter is used to measure the smallest object. Is that clear? Well done. Okay, let us revise the measurement units for length. Can you see together? Yes, centimeter, meter and millimeter good now again we will look at the measurement called read the word here mass spell out m a s s mass say one more time m a s s mass okay what do you understand by mass any idea Good. Mass means weight of our body. It is the weight of our body. Only our body? No. For mass, we can measure our body. We measure things. We measure vegetables and many more. Now, let us look at a book and the geometry box. Which one do you think will have more weight? book geometry box okay we will look at it now let's see the mass of the book is equal to two geometry boxes so which one do you think is heavier good the book is heavier than the geometry box so did we measure using non standard unit or standard unit good we measured the weight of the book using non-standard unit that is geometry box now there are other ways also you can measure the weight of the book using stones classroom objects like chalks pencils uh, tins and many more so here we have compared the weight of the book 
with the geometry box so we found out the book is heavier than the geometry box because two geometry box is equal to one book now let us weigh the actual weight of the book using a balance have you seen a balance where yes in the market who uses a balance a shopkeeper very good the vegetable owners do they use balance to measure vegetables yes of course they do now let us look at the weight of the book using a balance see here yes the weight of the book or the mass of the book is 1 kilogram the weight of the book is 1 kilogram the kilogram what is kilogram kilogram is the standard unit for measuring mass karma do you know your body mass yes your body mass is good is 25 kg yes sonam what is your body mass 30 yes 30 kg sonam is heavier than karma sonam's body mass is 30 kg which is more than karma's body mass kg is the short form of kilogram now like we have looked at the units for measuring length let us also look at the units for measuring mass units for measuring mass are kilogram as i said kg is the short form of writing kilogram then we also have gram gram is written as g just the letter g g is the short form for writing gram and again remember kg is used for more than 1000 gram 1 kg is equal to 1000 gram if the weight of the object is 1000 gram remember it is equivalent to 1 kg so gram is normally used for measuring smaller objects that weighs less if you measure the weight of your story book we will measure it in grams whereas weight of the cow we will measure it in kilograms so using kilogram we will say the mass of the cow is for example 15 kilogram mass of the story book is 200 gram likewise did i make it clear children good so shall we look at the units for measuring mass yes we have kilograms which is written as kg and we also have gram which is written as G. Now let us look at the last measurement for today that is let's spell together C A P A C I T Y capacity. Good. Now what do you mean by capacity again? Okay, let us look at this filled bottle. Now capacity means the amount of liquid that an object can hold the amount of liquid again i'm giving you the word liquid what is liquid good liquid means water milk orange juice petrol yes yes cooking oil all these are in form of liquid so for measuring liquids we use capacity remember we don't use centimeter or meter or kilogram while measuring capacity so for capacity let us look at this bottle again it is filled with water so before we look at its actual standard units let us measure how much water this bottle can hold using a cup and remember your cups should be one you cannot use two different size cups. You have to use only one cup to measure one capacity. I'm going to use this cup. So we are going to measure it. We are going to fill this bottle 
using this cup okay one two three four five six okay can it hold more no it exactly fit six bottle so the capacity of this bottle is six cups look at this bottle another bottle which is bigger yes the second one is bigger than the first one do you think this bottle they will have same capacity yes tashi can you tell me do you think that this two bottles will have same capacity no the second bottle is bigger than the first one so naturally if the container is bigger the capacity will be more or greater if the container is smaller the capacity is less so like we had standard units for length and mass we also use standard units for measuring capacity standard units for measuring capacity are liter liter and short form for writing liter is just l l letter l then we have milliliter milliliter which is written as ml ml and remember if the container is bigger we use the units liter and if the container is smaller we use the measurement milliliter that is ml ml today we have looked at the measurements measuring mass capacity and length for these three measurements we have looked at it using non standard units as well as standard units now look at this picture these are the pictures of non standard units where you can use to measure length weight and capacity and we have some more that are standard units that we always use in the school in our school that is ruler measuring tape balance so these are the standard measurement units now since you have learned measurement measuring length capacity and mass look around you and find out the objects that can be measured using length using mass and using capacity and don't forget to ask your mothers and fathers wait today good luck see you next time